A very important historic handoff for the Heisman Trophy trustees, Professor Sanford Wormco. Professor, welcome. Uh, well, thank you, Chris, for all the great news you've done to the Heisman, and we look forward to our continued partnership. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm privileged to represent my colleagues on the Heisman Trophy Trust by announcing the winner of the 74th Heisman Trophy. Congratulations to all the finalists on their achievements and the distinguished manner in which they have represented college football. In selecting the outstanding college football player of the year, the Heisman Trophy Trust strives to emphasize the core values necessary to achieve such excellence. Diligence, perseverance, hard work, integrity, these are qualities primarily learned from parents and families. But the youth in our country also learn from teachers and mentors, frequently our high school coaches. Many Americans, not only these fine candidates, and the trophy winners, the former trophy winners behind me, but also presidential candidates, and yes, Heisman Trophy trustees, can all think back to a defining experience with a coach. So I'd like to take this opportunity to salute these coaches and to remind communities to preserve sports opportunities for students because formative experiences in education often are learned on the playing field. And now to what you have been patiently awaiting. The gentlemen standing behind me are ready to welcome another member or a returning member into the elite Heisman fraternity. But whoever wins, you should be That's proud cool. of your own and your team's accomplishments. And the winner of the 19 of the 2008 Heisman Trophy is Sam Bradford. opportunities. He's put so many wonderful people in my life that I give all the credit to him because without him, I'd be nowhere and we'd all be nowhere without him. That's really weird. Next, I'd like to thank my parents sitting right there. You know, from a young age, they pushed me. They pushed me for greatness. They instilled hard work ethic in me. I can't thank them enough. You know, even when I thought they were too tough on me, and when I didn't really agree with what they were doing, you know, they had a reason for it, and now I understand. And I can't thank them enough for everything they've done. Next, I gotta thank my coaches. You know, Coach Stoops right there, Coach Wilson, Coach Hype. You know, Coach Stoops, he puts in more hours than probably any head coach in the country. And what he does for our team, how he leads our team, I don't think I could ask for a better leader. Coach Wilson, everything he does for our offense, the game plan, the hours he puts in, I don't think people realize how much he does. And I gotta give a special thanks to Coach Hypo. He was one of my heroes growing up. I dreamed about playing for Oklahoma and watching him play when I was younger. And now to call him my coach and learn from him every day and everything he does for me, I can't thank him enough. He's done so much for me in these past couple of years that it's been unreal. You know, next, my teammates, they're unreal. I was surrounded by such a strong supporting cast that, you know, I feel like I'm up here representing them. You know, this is a, it's an individual award, but I feel like I'm still receiving it on behalf of my teammates because without them, I would be nowhere. My offensive line, those guys played so well this year. They were so good. They gave me all the time in the world. They blocked for our running backs to give us the balance. Those guys deserve all the credit in the world. Next, you know, my wide receivers. Joaquin tells me he bails me out every game. And, you know, <laughs> I feel like, you know, our whole offense bails me out every game. And those guys make me look good. And I can't give them enough credit. Our running backs, they have the balance we have. Those guys are unreal. Tight ends, our defense, they created so much momentum for this year, even on, you know, offense after turnover. We go out there fired up playing for those guys, and I can't say enough about my teammates. I wish they were here to accept this award with me, and I'm proud to take it back to Norman with me. You know, next, I really would like to thank President Warren, Mr. Casiglione, our athletics director, 
it's been a dream of mine to attend the university since I was little and you know now I'm living that dream and I get to be surrounded by quality people like them all the time and I really want to thank them for the example that they, they set and the things that they do for our university it means a lot to me uh, I like to thank my friends they're unreal. They keep me grounded. When I talk to them, they don't want to talk about football. They'll talk to me about anything in the world, but not football. So a big thanks goes out to them. I'd like to thank the Heisman Trophy Committee. I think I speak on behalf of the other finalists that this weekend was unreal. It was great. It was awesome. I don't think there's anything I could ask for. I don't think they could ask for anything else. They've done an amazing job getting this event organized. You know, I'd like to thank all the past winners who are out there tonight. I know you guys didn't have to be here, but for you to come here and you know share this moment with us, it means a lot. Um, uh, and it's such an honor to be up here. And I would really just like to thank everyone. Thank you very much. I think I have a few more.